Hello guys, it's Johnny Time again and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we are going to speak about sandwich attack and in particular how one inch are protecting their user from sandwich attack using a technology called flash bots or flash traits. But before we start, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, hit the bell notification button so you will never miss another video from Johnny Time again. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Yoadronen, who is the creator of this music, of this channel, who is behind all the music that you listen to the background. Thank you, Yoad, and make sure to check in the description below the link for his SoundCloud channel. So, if you remember, one week ago, I posted a video about sandwich attack, how they work and how basically the attackers uh, get thousands of dollars from users just because they put high slippage. If you didn't watch this video, I highly recommend you to check the description. I will put a link to this video because it will give you a lot of information and data that you will need if you are working with DeFi and swapping and decentralized exchanges and decentralized apps. So it's a must to watch this video. Make sure to check the link and watch it again. So. Uh, today we're going to speak about how one inch basically they offer a solution for this kind of uh, flash uh, for this kind of sandwich attack and front running transactions by a technology called flash bot transactions so this is from the official blog from official web website the help site of one inch and let's try to understand how it works and how it protects the users against front running attacks so here in the first paragraph they basically explain what are flash bot transactions and it's just an introduction uh, they, under, they explain here what is font running i'm not going to cover it because we explain it on this other video so make sure you to watch the other video um, here they speak about the mempool if you remember the mempool is what is basically the place where all the transactions are going uh, in their pending state before the miners take them and put them in the blocks and the mempool is basically visible so this kind of bots this kind of attackers they can detect and track your transactions and then create a front running attack sending a transaction faster than you with higher fees and um, so now let's talk about the solution and understand how they actually protect it so basically flash bot is a special type of transactions that basically means that your transaction will not be seen by any third parties by any bots that are scanning the mempool to find for victim for transaction that can be front run and can be sandwiched. So by using this kind of flashbot technology, flashbot feature, your transaction will go to a special mempool of it's a special uh, miners that are working with one inch and basically uh, the one inch web, web application, this decentralized application is basically connected to this kind of special miners that give those service. They basically include the flashbot transaction in the block without revealing to the public mempool and that's how you can avoid getting front run so basically it will not get front run because the the bots will not see this transaction so here you can see a technical uh, tutorial with a uh, very basic steps how you can do a flashbot transaction so it's basically step by step i will also put a link for this uh, guide in the in the description but it's a very simple user interface you can see here that you have the swap interface for this example, you swap ETH with DAI. This is the sell price, buy price, and minimum received. And here, this is the most interesting part, the transaction type. So right here, you can choose signed and send as flashbot transaction. And here you can pick a fee. And when you send it as a flashbot transaction, it will not go to the public mempool and it will not be detected by those kind of bots. Here they explain about what is flashbot transaction uh, fee. Basically, uh, you need to pay some kind of reward to the miners, but if you go to Etherscan or a, a, how it's called, BSC scan, yeah? So you will not see here in the transaction fee anything. This is an example from Etherscan. You will see zero. This is a main difference between normal transaction and flashbot transaction. Do it to its speciality that goes to the specific miners. Basically, the fee will be included in the value, in the Ether amount. So let's say you want to switch one Ether 
to die to 2000 die for example then it will not be 1 ether it will be 1.0002 because basically the fee will be included in the value already this is because it's special transaction that, that goes to special miners um, so basically here they explain what is the gas price and gas gas amount and basically they will put the most uh, basically the most good amount of gas that the transaction will go through and it will will not be too high uh, of course it's dependent on the current market situation how much the ether uh, blockchain is basically under big demand or maybe it's overload so the fees will be higher of course and if it's not it will be lower and also uh, of course that if the transaction gas price will be too low and basically the transaction will, will not be included in the blocks so it has some kind of automatic mechanism that after five minutes or 35 blocks the transaction will be reverted automatically also another thing that is different from normal swap that if you're familiar with one inch if not check out my other videos i have other a lot of videos about one inch uh, that meanwhile you're doing flash bot transaction you can it you cannot use any other feature so basically you will see that the, there is kind of this kind of a uh, pop up that wait for flashbot transaction confirmation if you're familiar with one inch you, you know that you can do simultaneously multiple transactions and send them to the blockchain at the same time so you can do swap at the same time you can do staking and adding liquidity or removing liquidity or doing multiple swap at the same time in that case it's not possible due to because it's special transaction that goes to those special miners Another super important thing that I hope that will be fixed in the future. I don't understand why they don't open it for other wallets. So actually you cannot do this kind of transaction in MetaMask or other wallets. Basically these tr transactions are only available through the one inch wallet. I guess it's because uh, this wallet is the only one who is connected to this kind of miners. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. If you know, maybe enlighten me in the comments below. But actually this feature is not available in any other wallets, but only in the one inch special wallet. So if you know why it is, I will be more than happy to, to hear in the comments. Maybe we can ask one inch why, why it's and maybe the plan in the future to support it in more wallets like Mitre Wallet or Ledger or, or Metamask or any other wallet. Uh, but that's about it. That's what our Flashbot transaction and that's how one inch protects its users against sandwich attack and front running attack. And let me know if you have questions in the description in the comments below and I will be more than happy to answer to all of them. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you next time.